Hello people! Today we're going to be doing uh, my own nails. I'm calling these teal we meet again. And um, we're going to start off. We're doing beetles polish again. And I am going to, most of these are just going to have the one coat. Because we're doing other stuff with them. Now you'll notice that there's pink glitter still from my cat nails on here since I just needed to do fills this time I didn't need to do a full R&R &R. so normally if I were just going to be putting this nail is going to have glitter polish and I normally would just go straight on but since I got the pink glitter I didn't want that showing through so that's why I'm putting a coat on that one the rest of these um, most of these are just going to have one coat, as I said. And I'll go ahead and give those a cure. And we're going on for the second coat, which is only going to be happening on the middle finger. That's it. And then we'll go in with the glitter polish. Now, you guys, I am so in love with this glitter polish. The, the, the photos don't do this stuff justice. You've got to see it out in the sun. Now, I took my pictures outside because I wanted. To, I was hoping to capture how it looks in the sun, but, of course, it didn't photograph very well for that. But this, this polish has the blue, the green. The green is not really showing up on here, but it's got blue and green glitters in it. And in the sun, it looks a little bit hollow. It's really pretty. This this one came from the uh, Midnight Euphoria collection that I got a while back. And the other teal, I believe, came from the Mermaid collection that I got last summer. Okay, but that's on. That's been cured. I've done two coats of the glitter. And now we're going in with the top coat. The glitter was a little bumpy, but once I got the top coat on and then later I had a second top coat, it uh, smoothed out rather nicely. This is just a no-wipe top coat. And, of course, there was a hair or something in there. And I should get that on there. And bam, we're ready to move on. That's been cured. Now we're moving on to the chrome. This is a teal chrome that I got off AliExpress at some point last year. Now it's all over my hands. I, I don't recall whose brand this was. I also got a pink one that I used on my Valentine nails that I was really liking. But it is super, there's no like brand on the pot on the on the pot so I can't really tell you but it, it, it's super easy and nice to work with it works really well you see how easily it went on now when you're working with chrome you really do need to have super smooth nails and all of mine were not there are some messy spots on there that you you won't you don't even notice until you get the chrome on then it's like oh man look at all that so this one is one of the worst ones so you can see up there around the cuticle area not that part from the other side um, and that is where I should have put the bulk of my flowers on that side but I don't know why I didn't but I got most of it got covered up with the, the flowers but Okay, anyway, the rest of them chrome that we're going to do, and then we're going to brush them off very gently with a soft brush. And when I say gently, I mean very gently, because I managed to scratch one of mine. I had to redo the chrome on one. But once you get to that point, then you're going to give it another top coat over that chrome to seal it in there. I really have been liking the chrome nails lately, as you guys noticed, I may have been doing a, quite a lot of them. Let's 
some of it got smoothed out a little on that bad one uh, there with the top coat, but not all of it. See up there near the cuticle, it just doesn't look nice. But most of that's going to be covered over so you won't see it in the end. Okay, once that top coat is cured, then I went and washed my hands and got all the excess chrome off. And these are some more of those flowers like the pastel ones I did not too long ago. Now these are all white and they came with the gold caviar beads in there, which I'm not going to use. I'm using silver instead. Then we've got some AB kind of bluish green crystals and some little AB teeny tiny crystals. Um, I think that's all I used. Oh, and then the, and then the gem glue. And basically, we're just going to start gluing stuff on. On the pinky, I'm just going to put one little flower and two of the teeny tiny little AB crystals. I will say these little tiny flowers, they were kind of a pill to work with. I was having a hard time getting them to flip up the right way. They all wanted to be upside down. And I'm going to try to get out some of those little teeny tiny ABs. One thing was I had a little too much glue on that one. Which made them all want to keep sliding around. So we are going to need to adjust them probably several times if I recall correctly. And then I am going to get a little dot of glue. I'm going to use an old brush that I use for gluing caviar beads. We just need a teeny tiny dot in the center of that flower. And then I will put a bead in there. Now these caviar beads um, are not the smallest, tiniest ones that I normally use. This is like the next size up. Which worked out good for in the flowers and stuff, but later on when I was doing the crystals on the middle finger, I was not happy with these. I don't know why I didn't get my smaller ones out, but I just went ahead and used these, and I'm not super happy with that one, how they came out with the crystals on there. You'll see when I get to the, the crystal nail, but they're just not as delicate and tiny as I would have liked them. But I already had them on there and that was it. Okay, so I got the little one done. I've cured that. I'm curing each finger as I go, but not until I get everything on it. I'm just blobbing some glue on this one uh, where I think I'm going to want stuff for the most part. And then we're going to go ahead and start putting stuff on there. I'm going to go with just one big flower, a few little ones. We're going to throw in some crystals. Some caviar beads of varying sizes. And there's not really any rhyme or reason to how I'm putting these on here. See, there's one of those little white ones that I don't want to get right side up. I'm just filling stuff in on here where I think it's going to look nice and things are going to fill in the gaps in the way I want them to. So, as I said, there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just putting stuff on here and there. You can do it however you want. There was a hair, of course. There always has to be at least one. You guys let me know in the comments if this is uh, too close, if, the, sh if the, the shot is a little too close now. I had a little problem. Uh, my camera is lower down than it normally is, so I'm using it at the same. Uh, I've zoomed in the same amount I always do, but it seems like this is a, kind of a lot more close up than it was. So if it's annoying you guys, let me know. I may back it down a little bit. And I'm fishing around for one of the caviar beads that was a little tiny bit bigger than the ones I used in the small flowers. 
And that one looks exactly the same size, if not smaller even. And there's that pesky hair. I guess I didn't get it out the first time. I can still see it. There we go. And I'm going to throw in some of the little tiny AB crystals. I had the worst time with stuff, getting stuff off off of uh, my tools and, and it gets to stick on here. I don't know why, but nothing wanted to cooperate very well that day. And I'm going to go around here and get some of the little bigger ones of the caviar beads. I don't know that you could really call these caviar beads after you they start getting up in size there, but I suppose they could be. Seeing as how I've never had caviar, nor do I want to have it, I guess it doesn't make a real difference for me. And now I've decided I need another little flower on there. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> As I said, they did not want to cooperate that day. Especially that one. It just did not want to be on there. Originally, I was going to put quite a lot of these on here, but then I didn't want to cover up that glitter now because I just, I'm so in love with this glitter. I wish I could show you how it really looks outside better than what, what I did. All right, we're going to stick a few more of those little guys in there, I think. thing I like about using the gem glue is I can get all my stuff on there. I can move it around however I want it and I can keep doing that until I'm happy with it. Eventually I'm going to get all my stuff on there and be ready to cure. Now I usually cure for 90 seconds when I'm doing a bunch of stuff like this just to make extra sure that it's fully cured. And also after I stick it in the lamp after maybe 10-15 seconds then I start turning my finger from side to side and, and top to bottom so I can make sure that it's getting uh, light is getting on all the sides and in between all the little stuff. All right, and then it goes to cure. And why I hadn't didn't cut this part out, I could have sworn I cut this part out. Okay, well, I'm sorry, guys. I've got this whole section where I was curing it did not get edited out, and now it's been saved in one big giant chunk and exported, so... Now it's not letting me do editing on the fly here. So I'm afraid you're going to have to live with this getting cured. So how are you guys doing out there? <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Um, this is going to be Mother's Day weekend coming up. So all you mothers out there, I hope you're going to have a nice weekend with your, with your kids and your family. I know I'm going out to visit my mom this weekend. 
so that should be nice. My oldest son and his husband are supposed to be there for dinner, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, and we're back. Just consider that an intermission, I guess. All right, now this is the one. It's going to be all crystals. I'm going to do a kind of a widow's peak kind of a deal here, and I'm just going to put the glue on the shape I want, and then I'm just going to go back and fill those all in with the crystals. Now this is where these caviar beads are going to be too big, and I'm not going to really like the finished look. I don't know why I didn't get the smaller ones out. I think by the time I was at this stage of the of the uh, process here, I was already hot, tired, my foot was hurting, I'm still limping around from my sprained ankle, so I just wanted to get done and get out of there, plus I had all the other ones still to go after this one, but anyway, I'm just going to fill all this in with the various crystals until I get that shape filled in all right I gotta get myself organized in here I'm gonna go with some of the little tiny ABs on the, on there I think uh, I think that was all of those actually that I used on there. Then I'm going to start putting the caviar beads in. Yeah, I also had kind of a lot of glue on this one, so they wanted to move around a lot. And I'm just going to put these around in between the crystals in some spots. And that one looks even extra big there. I think I take that one back off again. Yep. Although that one looks to be the same size. It might, they might have got mixed in. Sorry, I'm losing them off of there and chasing them all over the desk now. This will be the last one I show you, then I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. I figure this is long enough for you to sit through watching the, these three that I did. See how they are, they just try to escape everywhere. Once I'm happy with this, uh, I'll go in for a cure. It looks a bit sloppy to me too because the uh, those caviar beads are so bit are so. I mean, they're only one size up from the size I normally use, but it really seems to make a big difference. Now I tried to keep this symmetrical. I seem to be missing uh, some stuff maybe, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I guess I did stick a couple more on there. Alright, now we got them all on there. Now we just got to get everything lined up the way we want it. Moved around. And when I'm happy, it will go in to be cured. Okay, and there we go. Now apparently, you're going to have to sit through another section of curing. Or not. 
at least I got part of that one off. Okay, now I'm going in with my final top coat. I'm just going to go over them one more time. I'm going to butt this up against uh, whatever is on there, flowers, crystals, whatnot. If you go over the caviar beads, that's fine, but I'm not going over any of the crystals or the flowers. If you get it on your crystals, they will lose their shine, which it's the whole point we put them on there is for the sparkly stuff, so we don't want to do that. And then this particular one gave me a little trouble. For what reason, I don't know. The top coat wanted to beat up on this particular nail. It didn't want to stay smooth. So it's down there towards the tip. You'll see it starts to beat up. And I had to keep smoothing it out, smoothing it out, smoothing it out. There it goes again. Eventually, I'll get it smoothed out, and I'm really quickly, I'm going to put it in the lamp before it starts to separate out again. I don't know why that nail had a problem. The rest of them worked fine. Okay, and we, now we have cured, and there they are, all done. The rest of them are done, off camera, and here we go. That is what they look like all finished. If you liked my video, please go ahead and give me a like. And if you want to see more, so go ahead and subscribe. I upload every Saturday. Occasionally, there may be one in the middle of the week if I have spare time. And that is my finished set. We'll see how they hold up by the end of the month. And here's my picture. Took that outside with my foxtail fern. I've got a huge one of those growing out there. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.